Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Denmark, there was a king who was dearly loved by his people. He had a wife named Gertrude and a son named Hamlet. One day, the king died and his position was replaced by that of his brother, Claudius. After that, King Claudius married Queen Gertrude, Hamlet's mother. Hamlet, who knew this, felt sad, but he also felt that there was something odd about his uncle's ascension to the throne and his marriage to Hamlet's mother. How dare you! One night, in the hallway of Eleanor's castle, Hamlet and Horatio set out to find the ghost of Hamlet's late father. The king! Please wait now! Show your spirit! And thank you, Rose! Look, my lord! It comes! Angels and ministers of grace, the winners! Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. I am your father's spirit. Revenge my foe and mass natural murder. Murder? Who did it? He is a crowd. What? My uncle? Claudius? Hamlet is confused. He pondered whether to believe the ghost's words or not, and he doesn't know what to do. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arouse of a tragic fortune, or to take arms again a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep. No more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heritage and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. This a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream I. There's the root. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. When we have suffered of this mortal coil, must give us pause. Ophelia, Hamlet's lover and the daughter of the royal advisor, Polonius, feels saddened to witness Hamlet's current situation. Hamlet is now behaving very strangely. He is both mean and angry, and he is upsetting his girlfriend, Ophelia. One day, a group of actors come to the castle, and Hamlet makes a plan. He asks the actors to change their play. With this play, I will know the truth and catch the king. The new play will depict the king poisoned, similar to Hamlet's father. When Claudius watches the play, he looks very worried and runs away when Hamlet sees him knowing the truth. Claudius is now very worried about Hamlet and makes a plan with Ophelia's sister, Laertes. You will fight Hamlet and we will put poison on his sword and his feet. Wait, there was some mistake. I never meant to kill your father at this place, or sister. I know you are angry at this time. 
Icon is the kingdom, and I am prepared to face the consequences. Allow me, allow me to carry the weight, and let this remain a secret from everyone. Else. Ophelia has always lived under pressure. Her father, sister. And even her lover, Hamlet, always told her what to do. She is a naive girl who wants to please her father and her boyfriend, Hamlet. She behaved innocently and did not try to use her feminine nature to deceive or control men. As Hamlet suspected, Ophelia is loyal to her father and sister who raised her. Ophelia, I want you to leave Hamlet. But father, I love Hamlet so much. Ophelia, don't you ever trust him. But anyway, I leave it to you. Your father and your sister have warned you to be careful with Hamlet. Hamlet now acts very strangely. He is mean and angry, and he upset his girlfriend Ophelia. After receiving her treatment from Hamlet, Ophelia felt sad and wanted. Consequently, she began to stay away from him. Ophelia received the news that Hamlet had killed his father and sister. She hurried to see Hamlet, who was sitting pensively in the dining room. There you! You killed my father! Listen, Ophelia. The altar of Apollonius. Your father and your sister are wicked. They killed my father under the name King Claudius. It's fair to me to kill them too. O pale of Elia, beautiful as snow. Yes, child, you died. Carried off by a river. It was two winds descending from the great mountains of Norway that spoke to you in low voices of better freedom. It was a breath of wind that twisted your great hair, brought strange rumors to your dreaming mind. It was your heart listening to the song of nature in the groans of the tree and the sighs of the night. Heaven, love, freedom, what a dream. Oh, poor crazy girl. You melted to him as known as to fire. Your great vision 
strangled your words and fearful infinity terrified your blue eyes.